Tennessee has won 12 straight regular season games and at 9-0 this year, inching closer to its first division title in six years. Say hey, how are you folks, Jason Horowitz, glad to be alongside CBS Sports' Charlie Casserly. Uh, these two teams met Charlie in week one, division rivals, big games, always physical games. Now, Vince Young was the quarterback for the Titans there, but aside from that, what else is different about these two teams right now? Well, I think we go to Jacksonville, the injuries in the offensive line have really hurt them establishing their running game. And they didn't run very effectively in the first game, they're, they, and they're not as good now as they were back then. Any reason to believe that you think they're going to run now when they didn't run back then either? Well, they shouldn't. They, they absolutely shouldn't. But sometimes when you get a team on the road who's played a lot of tough games in a row, maybe they don't play their best game. That's what Jacksonville has to hope here is Tennessee's a little bit off the game up in that defensive front four. Tennessee's got to be pumped up, though, because they had a big win last week against Chicago. What did the Titans prove to you with that victory last week? Well, I think it was a very interesting game because what Chicago did was stack the line of scrimmage and we were going to deny you, uh, you running the football, and they did that. The Tennessee couldn't run the ball. They put the ball in Kerry Collins' hands. Guess what? He responded magnificently. Look at those numbers there. 30 out of 41, two touchdowns, 289 yards passing. Three weeks in a row, Kerry Collins has had to throw well enough to win, and he's done it. That has to encourage you if you're Tennessee. And if you're Tennessee now, Charlie, when you look at the Titans and you look at the other teams in the AFC, knowing that they can run the football, knowing that Kerry Collins, when has to, can throw the football, is there any doubt that this is the best team in the AFC? No, I don't think so. I, I think that uh, uh, this is the best team. I think Pittsburgh uh, certainly will challenge them, and they do play each other at the end of the year, which will be a terrific ball game right here on CBS uh, to watch. But right now, Tennessee just finds a way, and they're resilient to win. They overcame the one thing that people didn't know they could do, and that's without even getting any ability to run the ball, win it by passing. Yeah, they didn't have 30 yards rushing last week against Chicago. By the way, nice plug uh, for the network on that one, Charlie. Very well done. Game of the year. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, real quickly, how does Jacksonville win this game? If the Jaguars are to win, we're going to say here afterwards, Jacksonville won because of the Well, moment. the thing they got to do, they got to start with the Bears formula. Stop the run, make Kerry Collins beat you. Okay, so and then somehow you're going to have to get some kind of pass rush, which has been hard to do against the Titans, and disrupt him. Conversely, David Garrard is going to have to make some plays in the passing game. And look at David Garrard's numbers on the year. He is over the 2,000-yard mark in, through nine games, but eight touchdown passes. It, it's not a, two of them were last week. So heading, he had six touchdowns in in eight games before that. They got to get they got to get the ground game going. Charlie. Somehow or another, they have to establish the run in this game. Yeah, and, and the thing they got to do is at least try it, and I'm sure they will. I, uh, Fred Taylor to me doesn't seem to be the back that he has been in the past, but Maurice Jones. Maurice. Drew Jones is certainly a very a good running back, and he's the guy that's going to have to come up and make some plays because if you can do that, then you can get the play-action passing game going. If you can't, it's going to be a long day for Jackson. All right, let's see what AccuScore says about this one. The AccuScore prediction, 10,000 tests. Oh, my gosh. This is surprising. Tennessee's undefeated. What is the computer doing here? Jacksonville's 4-5. and five. But the computer, mathematically, 53% of the time likes Jacksonville. I'm not sure how, but... Pick your winner, Charlie. I, I, I think they've got over. I think they're, they're embracing or embellishing that win against the Lions last week a little bit much from the the computer there. But Tennessee, I think Tennessee's going to win. I think it'll be a close game. Why? It's a division rivalry. These teams know each other. They always play close games. They're they're, they're kind of mirror images of themselves. But right now, I like the Tennessee offensive line. Okay, is much better than the Jacksonville offensive line, and I think that'll be the difference in the football game. Is both lines for Tennessee are going to control the line of scrimmage. They're going to win the game because of that. They have some very underrated talent. Michael Roos, phenomenal Good player. tackle. Good that player. doesn't get enough credit in this league. It's a 4.15 p.m. Eastern start, also on CBS. There's another plug. There we go. For more on this game or any other in Week 11, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Charlie Casterly, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.